Hey players, this is Freaza, and today I'm going to show you how to sell Roblox assets like clothes and game passes inside your Roblox game using Roblox Lua. I'm in Roblox Studio 2013 in build mode. You can however do this in edit mode, but I'd advise using build mode. Um, click View Explorer, View Properties and View Output to get these windows open and let's start. I'm not going to like make uh, anything in particular activate the script, it's just going to go into uh, starter pack and run when they join the game or reset, which could be quite annoying, but it will, uh, for that purpose, it will only show up when they don't have the item, as not to annoy the hell out of them. <laughs> um, I don't advise using the same uh, tactic as it's quite annoying for the player because they're, you know, literally prompted to buy it whenever they reset or uh, die in the game. So, yeah, player equals, uh, sorry script dot parent dot parent player wait for day to ready waits two I'm not sure if two is enough but and uh, I'm going to comment this out this solves any loading issues when the player first joins and stuff but I won't get into that too much as I've covered it before in previous tutorials and uh, then let's get on with this game get service market place service and then uh, here comes the first inbuilt function player owns asset and this is going to have two arguments arguments being the things inside the brackets uh, for those of you who don't know what an argument is just to briefly cover it an argument is when you have brackets and uh, something inside the bracket. So let's say you're using wait, uh, classic wait, very simple. If you don't put anything in there, the default argument is the lowest amount of time, uh, or 120th of a second roughly, or 0 0.05, I believe. Um, but if you wanted to put an argument in there, like 1, it would wait 1 second. So that's an example of what an argument is. Here we have two arguments. The first argument is the player that we um, are checking owns the asset and we tagged our player earlier on so we can just put player and for the second argument this is the ID of the item you're uh, wanting them to buy so I'll go to sons free roblox and then get the ID of my item. I'm using a game pass for this example as I mentioned previously. Um, so uh, yeah, just going to copy, uh, control V this inside here and that's this bit done. Um, but it doesn't really do anything. We know that this will uh, return a billion value um, of whether they own it or not so what we can do here is put an if statement and then is this default uh, defaultly uh, or this by default means true um, so we don't need to put is equal to true because we already know that the default is true um, so we can put an else and this it means it's not true so uh, true. Right. False. and that's pretty much how this will go Although, um, in this case, true means the player has the game pass and, or the item, and false means they don't have it, so has the asset and does not have the asset. Unfinished thing, oh, oops. Um, the shot would be really pernickety, you can put an else if player as pass is equal to false, but that's a waste of time typing that all out. Um, so it's uh, shorter just to do this. Now um, if they don't have the pass, this is where the next step comes into play. Game, get the service, marketplace service once more. And uh, now we have our next property, I mean methods. Um, once again, I advise looking through the um, methods of a marketplace service inside the Roblox LEO wiki. Because um, that's pretty much all there is to this. 
and uh, you'll see that it has a lot of uh, a lot of arguments that can be placed here. Um, so I'll go over those. The first two are obvious. Um, they're the player and the ID once more, like um, player owns asset. But then there's a few more that I will go over. So prompt purchase player and the same ID. And the next two are uh, one is equip uh, when you get the. Well, I'll read it from here. Equip if purchased. I believe this applies to gear, so that if you buy a gear with this, it will automatically give you the gear and equip it, um, or equip it to your character. I'm not sure how it works, but um, I believe that's what it does. I think I read that somewhere. Um, but you can mess around with it if you want, but for that, I'm just going to put false. Sorry if I'm wrong there, but I did read that somewhere in the wiki. And then the last. Um, Argument is currency type. If you click on currency type, you can get a better idea of what that is. Uh, basically, it's um, the method of purchase you want to use for the item. Uh, Tex Robux or the default. So, uh, let's see your item selling for five Tex and few Robux. If you put default, it will show both of them. I believe, I'm not entirely sure, I haven't tested it. If you put Robux, it will um, only allow you to buy it with Robux and Tex with Tex. Pretty straightforward. I want them to buy it with tex, um, so I will make the fourth argument tex here. This looks pretty cool, doesn't it, with the whole four argument thing and the inbuilt function and the B service. Pretty pro line. You can feel like a pro scripter writing this, peoples. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to it actually. We're uh, checking here if they have the asset, and if they don't, we're uh, prompting them to buy the asset. Uh, with text, so let's test this. Has the asset, asset, and uh, here we go. Would you like to buy the Game Pass Naruto Shippuden Ultimate and Storm Free Game Pass for text twenty? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. I hope this helped you out. Goodbye, players.